Hello everyone, Toby from ableandrama.com here. I want to talk to you about MIDI foot controllers for making use uh, with them for Ableton Live. So I have quite a selection here from quite very affordable going to uh, a bit more expensive. And obviously there are some differences here in build quality, usability, um, and size obviously as well. So I want to talk to you about all, about all those different points here. Obviously, as I have created Max for Live devices for those three, like with the same UI for this one, it's a general one, which you can use with other MIDI controllers here. I'm a little bit um, bias here because I would say yes, um, to make really use of those in really great, flexible and a really nice UI and um, yeah, using them advanced and flexible, um, you would need my Maxwell Live device, to be honest. So first point here is maybe for all of them, um, editing the different media messages you are able to send with those are all, it's from all of them, it's all a bit quirky. So, um, the cheapest one here, the M-Wave Chocolate, um, is for example, you need to download a um, an app on your phone and then you're able to edit this one. So this has cap cap the capability to you to work via Bluetooth. I wouldn't advise you to use Bluetooth live, but just that you know, if you need something quick for the studio, something small to travel as well, I think this is a great one to start off with. It goes as cheap as 30 euros um, if you um, order it directly from China. For example, you can even get it cheaper. Um, and obviously the prices are going up step by step. But let's start with this one. So um, what I like about it is if you are traveling a lot and if you just need one small thing here, you can connect it via USB-C and you even can uh, switch or put in an expression pedal, which you obviously need to get separate, but they go as cheap as 15 euros already. Uh, or this one is, um, yeah, 15 euros already at Toman. I will put links in the video descriptions. They are affiliate links, so I might get a few points from Toman if you buy those via those links. Okay, so this one is, as I said, great for traveling because it's quite small. It goes into your backpack. If you are a DJ or a performer which travels and flies a lot, it is a good option here. Obviously, it is quite limited because you only have four buttons here. But yes, my uh, advanced MIDI control buttons would come in handy here if you want those four things to control something different um, depending on where you are in your set or if you just want to switch a preset with one knob, that's possible via my Max for Life device. Obviously, that's all linked in the video description. So that would be the cheapest. And if we move on, we come to the MP100, um, which was released under a different name before. Um, it's, it's called the MIDI Commander. The price is 119 euros currently at Toman. Um, so it has a little bit more functional functionality. Obviously, you get like eight of those and you have um, um, one going up and going down a preset which works great with my um, Max for Life device to get the same UI. So um, you can plug in two expression pedals if you want to. Um, so what is really cool here is if you just go um, into a certain preset, it can be used straight out of the box with my uh, Max for Life plugin and you can control um, track on, track, track on, <laughs> track off, metronome, etc. Um, and even do some live looping with my one button live looper to set it all up. Obviously, there are different ways to do with it in um, Ableton Live as well. But obviously, as I um, develop those plugins, I'm mentioning those here. Cool. So um, this one is very interesting because um, you have quite some uh, connectivity uh, already here. You get a um, MIDI out 5 then here as well and a USB and it's powered via USB. Um, so you can just plug it into your computer. If you don't want to use it for USB power, you can use um, a um, USB 
uh, USB A to USB C, just plug it into your phone charger and it will work as well. And then just use the MIDI out if you're going RTP MIDI or some more complex MIDI stuff here. So one thing I want to point out here is um, that even for that price, I feel like the build quality is quite nice. Um, what you need to what you need to know is like it's quite loud if you press on that. So that might be not always for something for everyone if you're doing some quiet uh, hang drum looping or whatever this is something you would get on here and obviously as uh, taller they are as louder and making a bit more um, noise here as well so what is a little bit tricky or what i find is is, is not perfect on those is like the distance of those different um buttons here so just to show you and <laughs> to give you one example here you can see this is already quite close so you need to be like really precise if you want to press the stuff in the middle here and yeah on the mp100 or on the midi commander you have a bit more space here which is good but you know it's like um it's quite close already so Obviously, if you go, if you are going for small, then yeah, that's that's one of the issues you might gonna have here, having those um, in the middle um, being like really flexible and in the heat of the moment when you're doing a performance, you need to know that this is like uh, quite small to hit already. Cool. So obviously, if we move up in the price range, we get a little bit more function set and we're getting bigger devices. So the FCB100, um, the design, okay, it's not like <laughs> a matter of taste, but still you get up and down here <coughs> and you can um, have more presets in here. This one comes with only a few presets and you have two presets you can uh, assign for yourself. But let's talk about the editing a little later uh, more in detail. But um, just so you know, like all of those programming, all of those is not that much fun, to be honest. Um, this one comes with an editor for the phone. This one comes um, without an editor. You need to go in and to need the, change the stuff inside this system here which is a bit quirky to be honest but doable um, this one you can program this one inside as well and there are third-party editors as well you can get so the big advantage of this board here is you are actually getting built-in expression pedals here already and you're getting much quieter and a little bit more um, space between the different buttons here. You can have different presets going up and down and you get two separate buttons here for that as well, which is great as well. For the FCB 1010 as well, if you want to control different things via one button and make use of the presets without going into this thing and spending lots of time on understanding this logic of how to program it, um, have a look just in the, in the link below in the video description on the links below um, about my Max for Life device I created for this one because you can use it out of the box, assign stuff for your uh, Ableton Live sets here real quick and then just change the preset and it will show you which preset you are in as well. So this one can't be USB powered. You will need to, even for the connection, you will need to use the five pin MIDI connections here. So you will need to um, switch the or change the five pin to USB at some point. Or if you have an external sound card with a five pin MIDI in, you are sorted here as well. But just so you know, you can connect even more switches here. You can't. Uh, connect more expression pedals if you need those. So if you want to control a lot of effects, you are kind of bind to those here. Um, one point about the pedals, I think they are okay to use, but um, you can calibrate them as well. But I feel like the range is not as cool as it should be for a really cool um, control here. Depends what you want to control, but um, the values are not 100% precise. But um, it's doable and it comes for only, well, 
only ish 155 euros currently listed um, and it's been around for a little while you need a separate power for that one so um, you have a switch here as well and you need separate power and the connectivity is only uh, five pin midi here so now and this is kind of like my favorite at this point um, obviously a bit heavier <laughs> and the build quality is definitely this one it is the most expensive it goes for 205 euros so even at this point i would say um the price differences here are not that huge um if you want small you can go for cheaper but if you want um, a little bit more um, build quality plus um, if you want a board which is like sitting on the floor and is there to last and is there for um, it's not it's not gonna move around when you hit that one and this is something you need to think about this one here for example because this one is gonna um, it, it's not gonna be as stable on the floor if you uh, again in the heat of the moment if you step on it with your foot and stuff you know so mm, this is definitely uh, one um, of the leading ones here again no own editor which is kind of like is there something happening why do companies don't provide us with um, a decent editor themselves there is a third party editor which is great and again I built a Max for Life device for this one and I created a preset which you can quickly load on there. Um, it's all explained, video links in the description below. So this is the most flexible um, if we come to connections because we can power it via USB, but we can power it as well via a DC adapter. So if you don't want to power it via your computer, you could power it that way as well but if you want to power it with your computer if you just want want to have this one cable and if your computer is giving a good power power supply then you can use the usb you could as well go midi out via the five pin midi on here as well and you get a lot more connections um, here as well you can um, put in uh, two more expression pedals if you need to and you can add more switch pedals here even if you want to so this way it's quite nice if you get an affordable or uh, even a bit more expensive expression pedal or pedals you can place them wherever you want on the stage because it's a cable connection obviously it's more gear to bring around you need to decide for yourself so what i do like about it is that it's um it's getting those colors maybe if we switch that on real quick you can see and those colors are designable uh, editable so um, this is the control preset i created for this um, again you can download this when you get the max for life device for this you just load it on there and then you have this thing here you get um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten um, pedals uh, you could use here this one is always and will stay always for preset selection which you actually don't need if you use my max for life devices because you can uh, just do the preset selection via this one here going up and down and as you can see um, you are able to customize those things a little bit so those are all red so they will uh, light up on stage and will show you here is my pedal which is great on stage especially on the floor and then if you hit those um, they are um, a bit brighter when you hit those so you can customize those colors and the behavior a little bit so that's what I like about it so customization is the key especially if you're doing um, stuff with Ableton Live and live looping this is um, something you really need customization so again uh, Max for Life device for this one here, which will guide you through the setup. So, is there some kind of conclusion here? Well, it really depends what you are going for. If you are flying a lot, you want something smaller. But then you have the problem here of, you know, like, um, is this really made for you? 
but this is so affordable and that I think like, yeah, you can give this a try. And even if it's just sitting on your table, you know, you can <coughs> hit it with your hand as well to change different presets as well if you want to. Um, this one is the, the next one in line when it comes to price. Um, the layout is different and it goes high and it's not sitting straight on the floor here. So it is quite high, but again, uh, quite flexible to use. Um, it comes with two editable MIDI um, presets, but if you don't want to dive into this uh, clunky editing on there, have a look on my Max for Live devices. If you need an expression pedal or if you need two expression pedals and if you want everything out of the box, this might be something for you. Not very expensive as well. As I said, it's going for 155 euros at the moment. You get um, you get no even no free third party um, um, editor here. So if you want to go in, yes, sorry, advertisement block again. Have a look on my editor for that one because my, my Max for Life, not editor, my Max for Life plugin for that one to make use, uh, maybe using this for volume and maybe using the same pedal for um, the reverb dry and wet. Um, just to give you one example, just out of one box. And yes, but this is quite big and it's silver. So uh, people are gonna see it on the stage if you don't want people to see stuff, if you want a quick connection and if you want stuff to be powered. Uh, let me put this away. Straight via USB. Then this one is like, and I would say from the build quality, it feels the most um, decent one here, obviously, and that's uh, matching up with the price as well because this is going for 205 euros at the moment, which is like compared to this one, like twice as much. Um, not, not quite, but you know, it's kind of like you could get even this one and that one or whatever. Uh, it all depends on your needs, obviously. Um, yes, and if you're traveling or not. So, yes, um, I mentioned my Max for Life devices enough now, I think so. Um, keep in mind always that you uh, need to know, like, how much time do you want to spend on editing? Um, how how big should it be for traveling? What you what are you gonna use it for? Do you have space in this when you you have space in your backpack when you're traveling for this one? Obviously not. If you're flying etc. for gigs, you might want to go a little bit smaller. But then obviously, if you go smaller, um, the quality, the size etc. the noises could be a problem. So I hope I gave you some ideas and I'm sure you have more questions. Leave a comment uh, below if you have any questions. And yes, of course, have a look on what you can do. If you want to go advanced MIDI mapping, you really should uh, check out my Max for Life stuff I created for that so that you are able to do more thing than only one thing with one button in um, Ableton Live. Okay, cool. Take care and bye-bye.